Hi, this is Michael Smalley with Elderly Instruments. We took a trip to the Martin Guitar Factory in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Last video, we saw the sawmill. This video, our rep Brendan Hackett is going to show us how they start to build these custom guitars. Oh, cool. Hi, Nate. Just checking for structural flaws in the Just screws. checking for structural flaws, yeah. With the light behind him, the process is called candling. You can see imperfections in the wood, and we have an example here where there's a couple of things. Um, this one would be cut out by the sound hole, so that if it were just that, that would be a passable top. Something down here, outside of the pick guard, a left-handed pick guard and a bridge, eh, it depends on what it is. But the thing you gotta be aware of when you're, when you're going through this is you're thinking about what's gonna happen 10 steps down the road. Because mm -hmm. once they start uh, sanding, those things could get exposed. So it's a visual, but it's also a structural if it's something real, real serious. Mm -hmm. And that whole process is done over here. So virtually every top is coming through Mary and she's doing exactly what we just saw over there, just checking them out. Now, if, we, if the top doesn't make it through here, we could still use it for other things. So there's back strips and, and things like that. So she's getting the glue in the whole channel. But you're doing the, uh, oh, you are doing the pieces first. Excellent. And this is the bolter on? This is bolter on, in this particular one, multiple pieces. Uh -huh. I think she just put two in there, but you know, as, as you've seen, some of the rosettes can be seven pieces. No, yeah, multiple. So they're manipulating yeah. all those at the same time. And so all the rosettes, if it's a seven piece, it's seven individual pieces. It's not like a pre-assembled. Seven individual pieces. So some of them are combinations of maybe a thick black, a white, and then a thin black. Um, and that's a particular one. And then you're multiplying those out. So you might have two of those. You might have one of those and something else. Okay, she's putting on the herringbone. Sweet. Classic look there. This is one of those things like many, as you've seen before, where she's making it look really easy. So done, just like that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so there's the, the bolterons, are those like maple and ebony strips yeah. over there for the wood fiber? Ebony uh, fiber strips, little maple strips. I don't even want to touch them. They're, yeah, so, they're so thin. So now we're in, in bracing. And you got these uh, cool forms. I've seen a lot of people using something similar to this, but this bladder, this red material, forms over the bracing after it's been glued in. So this is the top that's complete. She's gonna take that one out, and then new tops will go in. But they have them laid out with um, little blocks to help them know exactly where the bracing's gonna go. There's some little tick marks on there with pencil. So it's just a little dish of glue, right? But there's a knurled wheel on there to help make sure you get the exact amount of glue that you need. You might have a little squeeze out and they'll fix that later, nice. but. And once you put it down in the Easy Bake Oven there, how long does it take for the, for the bracing to set? It's only six, six minutes, minutes, yeah. You can see that at all. It's starting to compress. It's pulling all the air out and pulling that bladder over. And that's, that's pretty much it. Keeping so, the consistency. Yeah, under that yeah, pressure, every, it'll, it'll well. sit there. So she, she's going to take it out. She inspected it. She'll clean it up a little bit. And then she's going to send it over here to where they're doing shaping. So shaving out the wow. braces. 100% done by hand. Each model being a little bit different. And But she, she has an idea in her mind. She's going by what, what a D28 needs to look like and making sure those are in there. But each one's gonna be a, a little bit different. Wow. And then she'll pass them over here and you can see some light sanding going on just to, just to clean up some of the, the marks from the chisel. So this is side bending and there's a couple things to look at here. These are a lot of the old molds 00 12 fret mold. They'll use these to help check the bending process. So when they're doing something uh, by hand, they'll bend it over these irons and they'll come back on here. They'll check this inch and then they'll go back and they'll bend the next part and check this inch here and keep going around the body until it's complete.
And then you have bending presses. These are all different size bending presses. A little bit, little bit automated, but the, the operator's still getting the side in there, still using um, heat and steam to allow the wood to So the, this heats it and steams it right in this jig? Right in this jig, and it's programmed for dreadnoughts, uh, rosewood body, or you know, triple O okay. mahogany. So each one's a little bit different, a little different. manage it differently. <laughs>